Alright guys, last time we collected the rest of the memo cards and now we're ready to collect the last of the Dragon Balls, so I'll see you once I got them all. Well then, 10 treasures here? Two right there. Bushido Spirit Tension up. Let's crack this. There's a chest right here. I don't know how many chests are left in this game, but I'm assuming I got nearly them all. Ah, Dragon Ball's close. And there's this chest, and that chest. And that leaves... Five. You need to progress through the story enough to get stage 3 key blasts for your Dragon Ball if they're by your uh, energy meter is 3. You have to destroy these. What the fuck? Why aren't you blown up yet? Thank you. Agitator. Okay. And there's that Dragon Ball. Fruit and there's okay. I gotta go into that cave. And there's two more hammock, confrontation brace. See, now we have both of these. So I can put them on Gohan. And he. Okay, that's how I'm gonna grind. Alright, okay, I'll see you once I get the rest of the Dragon Balls. Alright, we're here at the next Dragon Ball. And <clears throat> this is it. All Dragon Balls collected. Alright guys, this is it for the final wish. I will grant you a single wish. What is it you decide? Fight the ultimate enemy. 
At the location of the dragon-shaped rock, I have opened a portal to another dimension. Cross it, and you will fight an enemy whose strength is beyond anything you've encountered. Your wish is granted. Farewell. Alright, so we're gonna save. Alright, so let's see. All that remains is catch the dodo, train, beat Vegeta, and the ultimate enemy. So we're gonna go train. You want to go to Mutaito's training ground. You want to a equip. This. Uh, you can equip that as well. And you just want to fight with one character only. Have them equip with the Popo Spirit and whatever, the two items that increase the amount of AP you earn and the experience you earn. If he's maxed on his skills, you can give him both the experience things, but Goku and none of my characters are maxed on those yet. And then you just want to beat them. Go in this cave and let's see what this foe challenger can give us. And this is what you're gonna be doing to 99. I promise you, this is how I grew into 99, and this is how you're gonna grow. Four thousand may not seem like a lot, but it is. Yamcha already grew. The best thing to do, really, is just to give Goku both of them. Because, to be honest, by the time you're maxed out, he'll pretty much have all the AP he needs. That guy alone gave me 3,000, so I'm going to show this off for a little bit, and then I'm going to cut to where I get my team to 99. I think a couple more battles should be fine. On top of that, I also have the hammock, which is giving me experience as I move. And your main goal is to fight big enemies like him, the boar, and anyone strong like these guys to the maximize your experience growth. Now I'm getting 5,000. And this basically how you level up, guys. Um, I'll see you when my team is at the maximum. Hello everyone, welcome back to this half of the Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Saiyans Let's Play. And uh, last, last half of the episode, I went around collecting all the Dragon Balls and collecting all the last remaining items and combo, mem uh, combo cards, or the uh, moves so uh, we have now every S combo um, I showed off how to level up my characters are now all at 99 um, 
we are missing literally one enemy. I also men I also noticed that uh, I apparently missed one boss that I forgot to scan. Not that it matters, it just bothers me. But anyway, I'm missing one monster. This fucker. But uh, everything else is good. We uh, I put some stuff onto my characters. Um, basically, here's their stats if you want to, if you care. Skills that I never that, and skills that I never maxed out, so I'm gonna do that right now. Goku's done. And then next, I'm gonna have to uh get all the combo cards on my list, like, as it have been used, just, just for 100% sake. I also need to go and beat Vegeta, and fight that ultimate enemy I made a wish for in the first part of the episode. Auto heal, key blast resist, don't care, oh. A lot. Ailment resist. Rage gauge up. Accuracy up. Dodge up. Chain up. And things I didn't care about, like item drop. And Rage Gauge. Oh, I didn't care about half of that stuff. Neil Wolfang Fist. And Spirit Ball level 2 and Perfect Moves level 2. Oh, I never cared about his perfect moves. That's because Yamcha is ridiculous as is. He doesn't need it. Most of you guys who are thinking Yamcha is really strong and really fast, but his accuracy is terrible, it is. But all you gotta do is put item on him to prevent his accuracy from uh, preventing that. You don't even need perfect moves whatsoever. Just like you don't really need Gohan's anger, but it's good if you want to do extra damage. Yamcha's perfect moves just enable him not to miss when there's an item for that. Item effect. Yeah, Krillin's basically the item guy. If you want to use a status on an enemy, you use Krillin to do that. And Yajirobe. Generation, sure. Moves I don't care about. Yeah. Key up. Oh yeah, more attack. More accuracy. Auto heal. I was planning to do all this on camera. That's why I'm doing it now. To go along with uh, 100%, and to show that I have all of it completed, you guys are seeing it right before your eyes. And reach gosh. Sorry if the sound effects are annoying. Dodge. Maybe Gohan can be more competent now. All abilities. 
Rage God, yep. Gohan's already a beast. We don't need him to be more of one. Oh. Let's give him his moves. He needs his Burst Rush and Miracle Full Force. This whole game, Gohan has not had his ultimates. Not that it matters. Everyone has everything now. It's all maxed out. Even Anger. Hell, even this useless move, Icarus. Yeah, everyone's good. Here's my other file. Well, actually, no, they're the same file, never mind. I was gonna show off if I had another file, but I don't. Alright, so... We gotta take TN. We gotta go find that Dodo. It's the reason why I have the Faux Charm active. I also have the Rice Cooker and this. The Offense Ring is... I believe it makes me faster. Is that what that did? Yeah, raise the chance of first strike in battle. Yeah. And then I also got... Um, that. And that. Luck should help me try to capture him. And Shenron Nails to... Hopefully make me faster. Oh, here we go. Gosh. Oh, again? I guess not having any capsules on to increase the uh, encounter rate or rare encounter rate or, uh, you know, anything like that. You shouldn't have that on because that minimizes his encounter. So what I mean is... I changed the... Originally I had the uh, the rare foe challenger on and then I switched it for this. It makes me encounter strong foes. Uh, I had the rare one on. Now I have the foe challenger, but then I just switched it to standby to see if it would help. And it has. I encountered him twice, so... Yeah, you filthy dodo. Need to catch you sometime here, man. I'm really tired of running around for you. Damn it! Just stay. Look how much health this guy has. Oh my god! I've never caught him, nor have I killed him. He's always run away from me. That experience, though. God. And those drops. Not bad. Even with my golden Frieza rice cooker and his rice stats maxed out, his rice cooker maxed out, he's not getting caught. Dodo! Freaking asshole. I hate you, you damn Dodo. I really do. Run away. You can never not. That experience, though. Did I... did I really? 
I just caught my 150th Pokemon. Uh, I don't remember how far down he was. There it is. Oh my god. This is my first... Oh my god. Okay. I'll see you at Kami's. Alright guys, we're here at Popo. Seeing as Kami's now dead, he's not going to be doing all the giving me stuff for it. But I've never had all 150 monsters before, so let's see what we get. Oh, you have monsters. Let me see. You've caught 150 monsters in total. You're a Pokemon master. You've caught over 120 monsters? I have something better still for you. Kami's uniform. Oh, you've caught all the monsters. I have something great for you. Be careful with it. Spark boots. Makes you move much faster? <laughs> oh, okay. Raises poison, lightning, and fire ice resistance. It's not great. Oh my. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I've never had this! <laughs> oh my god, why do you get this so late? I bet you can get this as early as possible because it's 150 monsters. You can get this pretty damn early in the game. Once you have TN and you start going around capturing everybody. Especially once you're at the point of the game where you have everybody with you and you're at the part where you're trying to get Goku back to life by summoning all the Dragon Balls. You can get it right then and there. I just chose to get it towards the end of the game. Oh my god! I'm gonna play through this game again. I'm gonna try to get it as early as I can because being able to move around like this is awesome. Woo! Now, just to remember, this is the newer speed. Here's your original speed. It's like. It's like playing a, an, a game on an emulator, or on your computer screen or whatever, and you're using an emulator, and you're playing the game at normal speed, and then you use super speed to like grind, such as Pokemon. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to go back to slower speed when you can use super speed. Kind of like on Pokemon Game Boy when you play on the Dodrio Tower or whatever. It's kind of hard to go and play off that for so many years to go back to Pokemon uh, on the Game Boy or whatever, and normal speed. That's kind of like how this is. Woo! I'm gonna go save real quick at Master Master Roshis. Master Roshis, and I'm gonna end this episode because that was just a little treat of me 100%ing the rest of the game. Next time we're gonna go and battle Vegeta. So guys, if you want to see more Attack of the Saiyans, hit that like button, hit that sub button, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.